Okay, before I start the video, I'd like to remind you guys to like, comment, and subscribe, and leave a suggestion for the next video. What's up, guys? Purple Hair Guy here. So, another synthetic video. Of course, I'm always coming back. It's a great game, very fun. So today, I have five tips and tricks that I wish I knew when I started playing the game. These are things that I learned along the way, and if I had known them at the start, I would have been way more efficient and just generally in a better place than I was when I started. Okay, so number one, this this one's incredibly important, and I, I don't know if everybody knows this now. Dash doesn't make you immune to damage. It makes you avoid damage, as in you can move out of the way, but you're not immune to damage. There is a talent, or not a talent, a module for the commando class, so Heavy Gunner and Raider, the two, uh, the two characters that probably spend the most time dashing, of course. That gives you immunity while dashing, but that, that is the only exception to immunity. You, you, you can still take damage while dashing, you can still die, there's no, there's no stopping that. Okay, number two. You can only have a max of 1,000 data. This is something I found out way later than I should have. I had been saving up data to buy a bunch of junk. A bunch of research stuff, so level up, stuff like that, prestiges. And then I looked at my my data counter, and it was at a thousand. And I'm like, this should be way higher. And that's the day I found out you can only have a thousand. If I knew earlier, I probably wouldn't have wasted eight, nine hundred, almost an extra thousand data. I would have to say, because I wasted a lot trying to save it up. Okay, for the third tip, it's sub items have recycle bonuses. So, you get this as a research thing, it'll tell you this, but I didn't know what it meant when I first got it. So here, I'm going to put a picture of the RV rebuke system up. You'll see at the bottom right, this this R will only show up after you have the, the required research bit, which costs data, of course. And it'll say R. For the rebuke system, it says minimal damage reduction. So what that does is... I'm not sure how much percent damage reduction that is. I'm guessing it's like 2-3%. But the RV rebuke system already gives you 5%. So this this bonus isn't worth it. But there's also some other ones on other items that are worth it. They're just generally better. Okay. Now this one might seem a little obvious. Uh, but a lot of people don't think about this. So if you see a upgrade kit on the ground and you're you're like, Oh crap. I don't have enough space in my inventory to pick this up. You can just drop an item, use the upgrade kit, and pick up your item again. That one, sadly, I used to just recycle items because I didn't even know you could drop items. I thought you had to recycle them. So yes, you can drop items, and you can pick them back up. That's that. Once you once you know that, the game becomes a whole lot simpler because those upgrade kits that you see on the ground you don't have to you don't have to make space for. You can just make temporary space for. Okay, and last but not least, you don't have to pick up every gun you see. I know if a fancy shiny gun shows up and you think to yourself, wow, that thing looks really good. And what you have in your pocket is like a, a four times upgraded shotgun and like a damnation four times upgraded as well. You don't have to pick up the weapon you find. There is exceptions. There is really, really, really good weapons. Say you find the Nemesis or the P9000. You're going to always want to pick those up. But you don't have to pick up every gun you see. When I started playing, I used to just see guns and I'd be like, Ooh, I want to try this out. And I'd pick it up and I'd lose a run because I had a bad gun. Alright, well, I hope you guys learned something in this video. I feel like this one's really going to help some people who maybe didn't exactly understand the basics of the game. I've been trying to put out videos to help people understand the basics of the game because it is a really difficult game that takes a bit to get into. But I'll see you guys on the flippity flop. I'm out of here.